Hello, and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Transactional Dating. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a new episode. Now, let's get started. The dating world is changing dramatically. Remember when people used to date simply because they liked each other? That world is almost gone. Well, in fact, it seems like it's becoming less and less likely these days uh, that people will even date for more than a few days or a few weeks at a time before they move on for any one of a number of reasons. A lot of times, they don't even consider what they're doing to be dating. Dating these days has become more and more opportunistic and transactional. And recreational, of course. That's usually the pretense. Um, And by transactional, uh, I'm not talking about prostitution. I'm talking about people coming together because they can teach each other something or offer something to one another. Or maybe, uh, you know, or maybe some other reason or motive or rationale other than just the usual physical encounters. Some people are targeting people who they think can get them a job at a company they want to work at. Some people will date because they think they can move into their place and live with them for free. Some people will date someone that they have a common interest with. Interests like money, business, or travel. Uh, Travel is a really big one these days. We're seeing countless singles ads out there uh, of people looking for somebody to date who likes to travel. Uh, That's usually code for, if you pay for my travel, uh, then I will sleep with you throughout the entire trip. Now, I'm not saying this opportunistic dating phenomena is new. Uh, but we've never seen it taking place in such massive numbers and massive percentages. It's very, very open now. It's so open now that a lot of single ads look more like advertisements for services that people want to exchange. It's becoming a very transparent and open process. Uh, I'll tell you what else is amazing. The entire notion of Ethical infidelity, that, that's a phrase that, uh, uh, that we're seeing a lot. Ethical infidelity or open partnerships, seeking to bring someone new into the relationship. You know, this phenomena is becoming more and more common every day. You know, et- if you haven't heard of it before, ethical dating is where, uh, you know, a couple will agree to have an open relationship with uh, whoever they want or whoever they can both agree upon. You know, and maybe it doesn't even require the consent of both parties. Sometimes, you know, people just do whatever they want. And if the other person has a problem with it, then they just dump them and move on. Um, Everybody already knows about all the sugar daddy and sugar baby websites that help people find romantic partners that will help support them financially. But there is another phenomena out there taking place now that people aren't even talking about or seeing or that aware of. There is an entire dating culture of people who will date for rent. Uh, You'll see language in their ads in which uh, people will say something like, need a place to stay. But they'll run that ad on a single site. It's not on Craigslist or Facebook. They'll run it on single sites which has implications all of its own. If you talk to the person on the phone or via text, uh, they will very quickly disclose that they're looking for a place to stay and uh, they're open to discussing how to pay for it. This to me seems really risky in this day and age. It seems like a great way to get robbed or set up or God knows what else is going on out there. Another thing that we're seeing a lot of is transactional dating. Someone may have a broken car that they need to get fixed. So they'll run a singles ad in which they discuss that problem. They talk about their car problem. 
you can draw your own conclusions on, on how they pay to get that car fixed. Remember, these ads are appearing on single sites. By the way, this sort of opportunistic dating has been going on on college campuses for more than half a century. A lot of good-looking people over the years have seduced their college professors in exchange for a great grade in their class. That was really common back in the day, and now it's even more common. Have you ever wondered why so many of the stunning-looking people would sit up front by the professor to try and get the professor's attention? Well, that's how it starts. I think all the dating apps that people are spending so much time on these days are somehow trivializing and reducing the value of meeting someone. They've made it so easy to find someone for just about any taste, style, common interest, or reason that the whole process has become sort of too easy or too transactional or too temporary. How special can the person you're dating be if you or they are talking to a dozen other people while you're sleeping with them? The whole process of dating turns into something very superficial, very temporary. In fact, it seems like the entire dating process has now become as temporary as so many other things. If this is how things are now, I cannot imagine what it'll be like in five or 10 years. Thank you for watching. I want to tell you that we're going to have more great celebrity interviews coming up and more breaking news stories in the future. So we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free and click on the notification bell so you can get notified every time we post a new story. Thank you, and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye.